Prince Harry and Meghan Markle aren't the only fascinating royal couple around. If you're ready to move on from the newlyweds and find a new royal couple to obsess over, let us introduce you to 10 of the best. You'll be amazed at just how a single mom bagged herself a prince. To see more videos like this on the taco, hit the subscribe button. Now let's get started with 10 royal couples that will make you forget about Harry and Meghan. Prince Carl Philip and Princess Sophia Prince Carl Philip of Sweden and Sophia Helkvist are one of the best-looking royal couples ever, and their story is pretty much inspiration to any normal gal looking to snag herself a prince. Sophia was a reality TV star, which is hardly the typical breeding ground for future princesses. She was a finalist on a show called Paradise Hotel, kind of like Survivor, in 2005. But despite their different backgrounds, the couple fell in love when they were introduced in 2010. Prince Carl Philip had just come out of a 10-year relationship, but it was love at first sight when they met at a luncheon thrown by mutual friends. In a joint interview, the prince admitted that he didn't know the magic of love before he met Sophia, and she spoke about how humble he was. Their engagement turned a bit sour, however. Swedish media supported on Sophia's previous modeling, posing with no top on with a python. She took it in her stride, though, and said she had no regrets. They became the Duke and Duchess of Varmland when they wed in June 2015. And the couple didn't hang around in expanding their family. They welcomed their first son, Prince Alexander. Alexander in April 2016. Then along came their second child, Prince Gabriel, in August 2017. Crown Princess Victoria and Prince Daniel Prince Carl Philip's sister has just an interesting story. It's amazing where you can meet your future royal spouse. You'd think that all of these royal couples met at a fancy ball or official ceremony, but when it comes to Crown Princess Victoria of Sweden, she met the love of her life at the gym. To be precise, she met her future husband Daniel Westling during a training session in 2002. He was her personal trainer at his own fitness center. The gym owner won over the princess and they had a long courtship. Eventually, they got engaged in 2009 and married in June. June 2010. However, it wasn't an easy ride to the wedding day. The royal family were originally resistant to their relationship. They're now parents to Princess Estelle and Prince Oscar. Crown Princess Victoria is an interesting example of how royal families are changing. Under older rules, it would have been her younger brother who would have ascended to the throne. However, in 1980, Sweden became the first country to change its succession rights. They changed the rules so that a firstborn female could assume the crown. She has also opened up about her own struggles in the past, including her teenage anorexia. She then spoke about her dyslexia in a television interview. The crown princess admitted that she used to think she was stupid and slow. What a great role model talking so candidly about her life. Prince Rahim, Aga Khan, and Kendra Spears Prince Harry isn't the only contemporary royal to marry an American woman with a great career of her own. Prince Rahim Aga Khan wed American model Kendra Spears. She got her start in modeling when she won a Ford modeling contest in 2008. She's graced covers of Vogue and Elle. You might also recognize her from ad campaigns for Calvin Klein, Emporio Armani, and Diane von Furstenberg. Her love story with Prince Rahim has a very starry start. None other than fellow supermodel Naomi Campbell introduced the pair. They had a whirlwind wind romance. So whirlwind, in fact, that Prince Rahim proposed after just four months of dating. She was in her 20s and he was 42 when they got married in 2013. Kendra then became Prince Salwa Aga Khan. The couple welcomed their first son, Prince Irfan, in April 2015. In January 2017, his little brother Prince Sinan joined the family. If you're wondering who Prince Rahim is, let us fill you in. His father, Aga Khan IV, is the hereditary Iman or spiritual leader of the Shai Ismaili Muslim. Britain's Queen Elizabeth conferred his royal title, and Prince Rahim is following in his family's footsteps by marrying a glamorous American. His grandfather, Prince Ali Khan, was married to Rita Hayworth from 1947 to 1953. King Jigmi Kesar Nemjil Wangchuk and Queen Jetson Pema We've spoken about princes and princesses, so how about a king and queen instead? And how about a king and queen that were betrothed from childhood? King Jigmi Kesar Nemjia Wangchuk is known as Bhutan's Dragon King. He's the king of the Buddhist kingdom in the Himalayas. Stories claim that when he was a 17-year-old prince, he met Jetson Pema at a family picnic. He told her that if they were both single when they were adults, they would marry. She was seven years old at the time, and he made good on that promise. In 2011, they wed in a traditional Buddhist ceremony 
ceremony. This was after they lived together. When they got married, he was 31, and an Oxford graduate, she was 21. He told reporters he had been waiting for quite some time to get married. The king added, it doesn't matter when you get married as long as it is to the right person. Gushing about his new wife, he described her as a wonderful human being and intelligent. And the big thing they have in common is a love and passion for art. Thanks to his down-to-earth nature, he's been dubbed the People's King. He spent some time studying in America and developed a love of basketball and Elvis Presley. And both he and his wife share their lives on social media. In February 2016, the pair welcomed their first child, little Prince Jigme. Peter and Autumn Phillips You'd think that there were only two royal couples in the British royal family, William and Kate and Harry and Meghan, but there are plenty of other fascinating couples to follow. And they're not even all called prince and princess. Who said you needed a title to be a royal couple anyway? Certainly not Peter Phillips and his Canadian wife Autumn. Peter is Queen Elizabeth II's grandson, making him cousins with William and Harry. Children of the daughter of a monarch are not entitled to the rank. However, when Peter was born, the Queen offered to give him a title. But his parents, Princess Anne and Captain and Mark Phillips declined. That made Peter the first child to be born to a princess without a title for at least 500 years. He was in fact the first of the Queen's grandchildren to wed when he married management consultant Autumn Kelly in 2008. As with so many of these couples, it was a case of love at first sight when they met. It was at the 2003 Montreal Grand Prix, and Autumn didn't even realize Peter was royalty. It took six weeks for her to find out he was Prince Anne's son. He was 11th in line to the throne at the time. To protect that position, Autumn converted from Catholicism to the Church of England before their wedding. They have two daughters, Isla and Savannah. And Savannah stole the show at the 2018 Trooping in Colour ceremony. She had all eyes on her when she told off the future King of England, Prince George. Prince Andrea Casaraghi and Tatiana Santo Domingo American-born actress Grace Kelly is one of the most loved women to have married into royalty, and of her grandsons, Prince Andrea Casaraghi of Monaco is keeping the glamour going. Just like his grandfather, he fell in love with an American. New York-born Tatiana Santo Domingo caught his eye after his sister Charlotte introduced them. And the couple dated for seven years before announcing their engagement in 2012. Eventually, the pair got married in 2013. She went for a boho look with a simple garland of flowers in her hair instead of the more customary crown. She did go designer for her dress, however, wearing a Missoni gown. Members of the Missoni family plus Karl Lagerfeld attended their ceremony. That wedding was five months after Tatiana gave birth to their first child, Alexander, who was known as Sasha. One wedding wasn't enough, however, and they married again in 2014. Then their daughter, India, was born in April 2015. Tatiana is the co-owner with her friend of an ethical fashion line called Mazungu Sisters. Although she didn't make many public appearances while she was expecting, she did attend Paris Fashion Week. After all, what fashion fan could resist watching shows by Valentino and Christian Dior? King Philip VI and Queen Letizia it's so interesting that so many of these royals have married commoners. It just goes to show that it doesn't really matter what walk of life you come from or what your job is. You can find your way to a royal spouse and a royal title no matter what, just like Letizia Ortiz Rocasolano. She was working as a journalist for CNN when she met her future husband, who just so happened to be Felipe, the future king of Spain. The pair met when Letizia was on assignment in 2002. She was reporting on an oil slick on the shoreline of Galicia. Felipe was also there visiting the people who were affected by the disaster. They connected and got married in 2004. Felipe's parents, King Juan Carlos and Queen Sofia, were very supportive. The couple had two daughters together, Leonor and Sofia. And that is reported to have caused some issues in recent years. Queen Sofia is said to feel frozen out, while Letizia's mother is more involved. Fast forward to 2018, and it looks like the tensions within the family have gone public. If you like scandals, then you'll love this. A video surfaced of Letizia and Sofia tussling over the girls after an Easter mass service. It certainly set tongues wagging. Prince William and Kate Middleton Given that he's going to be king one day, Prince William trumps his little brother Harry in status, and his wife Kate Middleton has been on the scene way longer than Meghan. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge met at the University of St. Andrews in 2001. They started off as friends, but got together after a fashion show. Kate walked the runway in a sheer dress, and William saw her in a whole new light. They wed on April 29, 2011, as the world watched. Their relationship hasn't been all plain sailing, though. They split during their courtship, and they've had their every move scrutinized by 
by the world's media, but they've come out of it on the other side. They're now parents to three adorable children. Their eldest, Prince George, is destined to be the King of England one day. Their middle child, Princess Charlotte, is already a fashion icon, and their latest addition to the fold, Prince Louis, is keeping a low profile in his infancy. Apart from his christening in July 2018, these kinds of events bring all of the British royal family together, just like Prince Harry and Meghan's wedding did, just on a much smaller scale. Prince Felix and Princess Claire if you're looking for a replacement for Kate Middleton rather than Meghan Markle, then look no further than Princess Claire of Luxembourg. She's been dubbed Kate's doppelganger thanks to her bouncing brunette hair and fabulous fashion sense. It makes sense that she dresses so well. After all, she worked at Vogue in New York. She was in the advertising department. That was before she married her Prince Charming in 2013. That's not the only impressive thing about Claire Laidmacher. She's fluent in French, English, German, and Italian. She has a master's degree in bioethics and she manages her family's winery in the south of France. Are you suitably impressed yet? Claire attended school in Washington, D.C., Atlanta, Paris, Germany, and Switzerland. And it was at boarding school in Switzerland that she met Prince Felix of Luxembourg, just like Kate Middleton met Prince William while they were at college. The comparisons between Princess Claire and Princess Kate were particularly apparent during a special occasion. It was at the christening of Claire and Felix's son, Prince Liam, in 2017. The attractive pair are also parents to Princess Amalia, Claire has brains and beauty, and a royal title too. Some people have all the luck, right? Crown Prince Hakon and Princess Met Merit if ever there was a Cinderella fairy tale of love, it belongs to Met Merit to Jessam Hoibai. The single mother and waitress met Crown Prince Hakon of Norway, fell in love and became a princess. The couple first met at Quart Festival, which is Norway's largest music festival. They went their separate ways, but their paths crossed again. This time, they started dating and got married in 2001. Their love story isn't without its scandals, however. Just days before her royal wedding, Met Merit publicly apologized for her wild past. It's fascinating to learn that about half of Norway's firstborn children are born to single mothers. So the fact that she was a single mother didn't particularly bother the Norwegian public, nor did they care that the couple lived together in an Oslo flat before marrying. That's pretty surprising, given that when Prince Hakon became king, he will become head of the state Lutheran church, a church that opposes cohabitation outside of marriage. However, the public wasn't happy about the wild parties Met Merit attended in her youth. Regardless of the disapproval, the couple went on to wed. They have two children together, Prince Sver Magnus and Prince Princess Ingrid Alexandra. Met Merit's son Marius was also a part of royal life up until 2017. At the age of 20, he decided to remove himself from public life. He headed off to study in the USA, and his mother wrote a beautiful open letter to her firstborn. Which royal couple is your favorite and why? Let us know in the comments, and please give this video a big thumbs up. Thanks for watching.